We're talking about assessment again this week, and I want to offer you a few little tips to assess your language skills. These work in any language and for the most part work with every level. You just have to adapt them a little bit. So the very simple question, what can you do? Um, if you're a be absolute beginner, this is a very easy question to answer. What can you do? Nothing. Can't do anything. But I, I really like to, I really like to think about it, sort of brainstorm. What, what can I do? And what would, and it really frames me for what would I like to be able to do, right? And I, and I think what a lot of people, what I hear a lot of people say is, you know, I'd really like to have a conversation. Well, about what? It's very different having a conversation about you know, your daily routine than it is having a conversation about politics. Those, those require completely different levels of skill. So I always ask myself, you know, what, what can I do? Um, we're going to talk in another video about some cheap finds from Amazon. But if you look at last week's video, we talked about um, the, the actful Nasifal can do statements. And I also created something, um, of tasks. We talked about tasks and I've, I've created a, um, kind of a corpus of tasks and, that you can frame your learning around, but this is a very simple question. What can you do? Will really help frame your learning. And if that's absolutely nothing, this is a really great activity for you. And I think that Let's just play it so you can see it. If you can play it, I can't play it, but <clears throat> where, what this looks like is a, basically you, you write down a set of words and hopefully these will be words that will be in context. They'll be chunked in context all centered around a specific task and write them down in your target language in a column. And then in the next column, you're going to write down their equivalents in your native language and then you study. And now you fold the paper over and you write it down again in the target language. And unless you've mastered it, you're going to have to go back and study again. And you keep you keep doing these columns until you've mastered this set of words. It usually takes around a page. It might take you 20 minutes, but it's a fast way to learn a language when you are at the novice level. Another activity that you can do with this, the same notebook, when you've built some skills um, is fluency writing. And this is really great if you're sort of at the A2 level, B1 level, and you pick a topic and you set a timer. I would do like six or seven minutes and you write. So for example, your family, your house, your whatever, fill in the blank. And you write for that entire time telling, it can be lists, it can be sentences, it can be, you know, describe a typical day, for example, that might be a task. And you don't allow yourself any help. And what you do at the end is you look at what you missed, what you didn't know, and you fill in those gaps. That's when you go look up those words. Another version I do of this, this doesn't work as a great assessment, but it's a really great sort of learning activity is to do that same activity, but in a Google doc, because it has a built-in dictionaries and you can kind of look as you go and then save it. And it's really rewarding to see these move forward. So to see these build, you know, you'll, you'll look at, something and then a few months later you can look how much how much more you could do with the language which is really great this next activity is i just wanted to share a to quick that, tutorial on how to use recording google slides and for this works really well for i activities. think novice a or there are loads that you can do B. i'm going to talk about so what you want to do quick here one right now and is that is fluency you just open up a google slide it's really journaling. simple and so you can get an add-on i think you're just going to open up your one. slides um, and, and there's there's plenty of add-ons. I just tend type not in to some do of the, the stuff you want to talk about. Then Google Slides novice, because I, I like to um, 
you know, bullet point I, out you know, I have, things I have that a, I want to say. So sort of visual I have a, a couple of programs that I just, um, I regularly use, but if I didn't have them, I would just, then would you're going to want to go to your slides, I think, add-ons or download it and, and you know, record it. You can either download it that's... and record but in PowerPoint if you've got that. I don't want to get into the technical part of it. Whatever you works for whatever slide program that you have and you just record. So it doesn't really matter. Amazing documentation of your So a lot of times I just wanted to share a quick tutorial on how to use Google you know, Slides. As you're learning, you're going to need some supported speaking so activities. There are loads that you, you can might, do. I'm going to talk about one quick one right now. Bullet point out and before. That is so if you're sort of A2 and beyond, you can journaling. do this. So bullet essentially, out you're just going to open up your slides talking about and, and then just to kind of just give type in some of the stuff you right, want to talk about. Practice. If you're a complete so novice, you can I just, would just on the slide just write like you know my name, you know, the bullet day, point the day, out whatever it is that I want to say. You want to practice sort of visual reminder to talk about. And again, give yourself a time limit and make yourself. Then you're going to want to go to your that simple add-ons and. Then and what's really great you is you'll download have all these and recordings record in and just like you did with the journals, or you'll, you'll be able to go back or you can get an add-on called Fishbowl. Listen and, and see record, and hear your progress. It. It's, it's an amazing really, really, documentation really amazing. of your progress. So this next picture is the path to fluency. And I talk about this a lot, but essentially it's a visual I made that shows going from not knowing any language to being highly proficient. And, you know, where, what can you do? What's your bubble? Are you at the top and you don't, you know, you maybe know some words or you don't know any, or are you where most of us are in that sort of pink, you know, many people where you consider, most of us consider fluent is in, or the start of fluency anyway, is that, is that pink that says paragraphs, right? That's sort of that B2 level that you can produce that kind of level. It's not scientific necessarily, but they, this is based on um, my rating, my training for becoming a, a language proficiency rater. It's really helped me. It's really guided me, you know, where am I? So then I know what I need to do to, to get to the next step. And this next picture is a photo as you see. And basically, if you talk about the either the journaling or the the Google slide, um, being able to take photos, right? Take photos of it depends on your level and what you want to learn how to be able to do, and putting them on slides and then recording. So as a beginner, you know, let's say a slide, I might be able to, I might get a slide of, you know, let's say my house for example. You know, I can describe or a room, I. I should describe all the things in my room, or if I'm more advanced, making up stories. So really the slide or the, the photo on the slide serves as a visual prompt to get you talking and thinking and practicing that fluency. So some, some ideas for photos might be your house, the people in your life, right? Pictures of your, your family and your friends, pictures of things in your house, in your closet, in your workplace. Um, it's a really great way to build that fluency. And if you get stuck in something like this, if you're, if you're a beginner, you know, you can allow yourself some, some aids and maybe, you know, hit pause and, and look some words up. So next week, we're going to be um, exploring more ways, quick and easy ways to assess your language proficiency. Until next time.